A very good morning to you all. You are joining us on ITN English News. I'm Dilani Shaitilaka. Let's have a look at the headlines first. Mandatory quarantine program starts today. Sajid says invitation is still open for Ranil. Sri Lankans to benefit from lowering oil prices. Ragged undergraduate is in critical condition. All of Italy is in lockdown as coronavirus cases rise. Now for news in detail. Director General of Health Services Dr. Anil Jha Singh states that a 14-day mandatory quarantine program will commence from today. A flight which is expected to arrive in Sri Lanka from South Korea will be quarantined initially. The air passengers coming from Italy, Iran and South Korea are thus compulsory to be quarantined. They will be accommodated at the quarantine centers in Batiklu and Kandakadu for 14 days. Dr. Anil Jha Singer has requested for returnees to the country to self-isolate themselves in their homes for a period of 14 days. They have also been advised not to undertake any foreign travel immediately after returning to the country. Dr. Jha Singer also said pilgrimage tours to India have been suspended. Meanwhile, the Sri Lanka Army has made arrangements to accommodate at least 2,000 to 2,500 persons for two weeks in two quarantine centers in Punani and Kandakadu, in addition to planned accommodation of 300 more in the Atalava as well in the event of any emergency. The head of the World Health Organization warned the threat of a global coronavirus pandemic was very real as the contagion continued its rapid spread around the world. In Italy, where some 16 million people are now under quarantine, there were 97 deaths reported, bringing its total on Monday to 463. Iran temporarily released about 70,000 prisoners because of the coronavirus epidemic as the death toll rose by 43 new fatalities to 237. More than 3,800 people have died worldwide from coronavirus and over 110,000 infections have been recorded, according to the World Health Organization. Minister Mahinda Amaravira says that attention has been paid to benefit people as fuel prices in the world market has been slashed drastically. Ministers will look into the fuel price revision at the cabinet meeting this week. U.S. oil prices crashed as much as 34% to a four-year low of 27.34 U.S. dollars a barrel as traders brace for Saudi Arabia to flood the market with crude in a bid to recapture market share. Brent crude, the global benchmark, plunged 24% to close at 33.36 US dollars a barrel. The turmoil comes after the implosion of an alliance between OPEC and Russia, which had been restraining oil supply since the start of 2017 in an attempt to support prices. Russia refused to go along with OPEC's proposal to rescue the coronavirus battered oil market by further cutting production at a meeting in Vienna. Leader of the Samagi Jana Balavege, Sajid Premadasa, says that the invitation extended to the UNP leader, Ranil Vikramasinghe, to join his alliance is still open. Sajid Premadasa was speaking at the opening of the new office of the Samagi Jana Balavege. Headquartered at Atul Kote, the new office was opened amidst religious rituals. Jatika Hela Urume leader, partly Champika Ranavaka, SLMC leader Rauf Hakim, Tamil Progressive Alliance leader Manu Ganeshan, All Ceylon Makkal Congress leader Rishad Badiuddin also participated in the event. An undergraduate at the Sri Javadanapura University is currently being treated at the intensive care unit of the neurological unit at the accident ward of Colombo National Hospital in critical condition over injuries caused by an alleged ragging incident. It is reported that senior students at the university had thrown a tractor tire at victim resulting fatal injuries. The student union of the university has said that the particular incident was an accident. An investigation has been launched into the incident. That's all we have for you today. Have a pleasant day. Goodbye.